it's me Braxton MG and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a special quote unquote guest. <laughs> uh, just kidding. It's just my mom. I'm going to be doing her makeup today. Her fall glam. Um, the worst part is after this she's probably just going to wash it off and take a nap or something like that or cook hamburgers in full glam. I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. But yeah, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with all your mothers, brothers, and sisters and I hope you enjoy this video. Preparation is a key component to doing anyone's makeup, including yourself, anyone else's. It doesn't matter whose makeup you're doing. You really need to make sure you prep the skin for all of the makeup that you're going to do. So I'm just going to be starting off by using this Juice Beauty Stiff Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. I'm just going to do two little squirtles of it. One. <gasps> I just missed! <laughs> it's on the floor. Okay. Especially someone with more mature skin, you really want to make sure you uh, hydrate it because that's why their skin is wrinkled because of the lack of uh, moisture in the skin. So that's why you want to make sure you moisturize kids. There you go. Now I'm going to let that set into the skin and I'm going to go ahead and get some primer. For primer, I'm going to use my mama's Cheapo Depot Wet n Wild Face Primer. For brows, I'm going to take Bang Beauty, it's Bang Beauty, it's like a gel eyeliner. Um, it's actually for your eyes, but I'm going to use it in her brows because it's a light chocolatey brown. And I'm just going to take a small, small amount and a small brush. So now I'm going to just take some concealer and I'm going to go underneath her eyebrows and carve them out to shape them up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the foundation or concealer, whatever you're using to carve out your brows. I'm going to drag that onto the eyelid so we can use it as a base for the eyeshadow. Okay, now that I have carved out her brows and put a base down for the eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and set that um, so she doesn't crease because naturally anyone's eyelids crease, but because she has a more, just because she has more mature skin and also it is a heavier product, it is more prone to creasing. So first I'm just going to blend it out with a foundation brush. Just to make sure that I have all of the excess um, absorbed. Usually I'd use a sponge, but I'm just using a foundation brush because all I have is my foundation sponge. And it's not time for me to clean mine yet. So that's the tea. So there we go. I blended it out first with the sponge. Now I'm going to be taking the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in the shade Original. It's just like a white shade. And I'm going to use this to set her eyelids. For eyes, one of the palettes I'm going to be using is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. First, I'm going to dip into the shade called Gargina. It's this shade right here. And I'm just going to run this through her crease. shade Ada or Ada and I'm just going to take the same brush. Now to further deepen it up I'm going to go into the shade Zulu and I'm going to very precisely just place this closer towards the outer corner. Yeah, while you're here in my arms, let's 
And the last matte color I'm going to be using is the deepest matte color in the shade called Fulani or Fulani. And I'm just going to just pack it on the brush and even more precisely put this in the glow crease right here. Side of the bed, what's up with this prince song inside my head? Hands up if you're down to get... Now one thing people say is not to put shimmers on... Uh, wrinkly skin but like I'm gonna do it anyway because there's no rules to makeup you could do whatever you want and it's gonna complete the look so first I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade I think I'm gonna take the shades Cas Casablanca I'm gonna take the shade Casablanca and then I'm gonna add dimension by taking Dahlia and Giza close to you right now don't you wish you me well don't ask me i'll never tell i wear my heart up on my sleeve i look to you as it fell and now you're in okay so i got people to ask us some questions on instagram and so far we have a few so we're just gonna do one here and there so from that is lily she said who does makeup better I'm gonna allow you to answer that question. Who do you think does makeup better, Mom? Between you and I? Yeah. <laughs> sure, the hell ain't me. Why not? Because I'm beautiful without it. I just don't find the need to have to wear makeup in on a daily basis anymore when you reach a certain age. Very true. All right, should we answer another one while we're answering questions? We'll answer one more. Um, Someone we both know asked the question. Cool. Who do you think asked the question? Okay, so my ex-boyfriend asked the question. <laughs> um, he asked, what's your best memory slash moment with your son? Also, he asked me what's my best memory with my mom. So you're going to start first. What is your best memory with me? Well, of course, my favorite memory and the best memory was when you was first born. Oh. Okay. And then... Now, I would have to say our recent adventures on the cruise ship and your modeling and acting expedition that we're on. Okay. Um, honestly, I have to think about my favorite memory with you. I don't know. When we were younger, I really liked going uh, to this crusty beach we have near us called Sycamore Point. Uh, Honestly, those are some of, probably some of the best memories. What is your least favorite memory with me? All your diva fits. All my diva fits? What do you mean diva fits? I don't have those. <laughs> okay. What diva fits? Um, she doesn't believe in expensive makeup, so she just has a bunch of like cheap foundations. Um, so I'll probably end up mixing the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth, because we're gonna find her her shade right now, so let's figure it out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just dip the Luxie um, airbrush foundation brush, Luxie 732 foundation brush in it, and I'm just gonna put it on her face. Honestly, that matches your neck. Look at the camera. Kinda like, look into the photos So whenever I, I get finished with laying in, her foundation. I'll be right back. Now we're going to go ahead and do some highlighting with some cream products. I'm just going to take that foundation that we used on her eyelids earlier. It's a little bit lighter and I'm going to use this to kind of brighten up some areas on her face. Was your makeup 
steps this crazy whenever you were uh, in high school and doing your own makeup, or no? Nope. What did your makeup consist of? Base, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, lipstick. It's a wrap. So basically everything we're doing right now. Not in the detailed steps you do it. Now I'm just going to take a Real Techniques blending sponge to make sure I blend it out nicely and get any creasage out. Okay, so now I'm going to take that Derma Blend powder from earlier. I feel this is supposed to be really good for someone with um, wrinkles, so I'm going to just test it out today. And first I'm going to set where I put concealer to make sure uh, we minimize the creasage. I'm at a the sun goes down, the stars come out. Moving on, I'm going to go ahead and start like shaping up the face. So now I'm just going to take, I don't know if I want to use the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzing Palette or the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So we're just going to mix into both of these and see what works. shadows. I'm going to dip into this one because it's a little bit more warm and deep. Um, so yeah, it'll deepen up her uh, cheeks a little more. So for bless, I'm just going to take the BH Cosmetics 10 color nude blush palette. And I'm just going to take this shade, this shade right here. I'm going to just take these two bright pink shades that my mom has skin so it's gonna show up better. Now we're gonna highlight but first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some setting spray. First I'm gonna use the Smashbox Centering Citrus um, Primer Water Spray and just kind of help melt. I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star 24 Karat Pro Palette and I'm gonna take the shade King Tut and Dark Horse. And I'm just gonna apply down on, thank you, to the right. And I'm just gonna apply the highlight. Ooh wee. Now you're not really supposed to highlight um, textured or wrinkled skin, but it's okay. I mean, what's, what's makeup without a highlight, am I right? Like, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes. For that, I'm just gonna be doing all of the matte shades that we did on the upper lid, but I'm gonna do them on the lower lash line. Um, and then after that, we're gonna start answering a few more questions. So now I'm gonna answer some more questions. Here. All right, someone asked, what is you and your mom's favorite makeup product. So if you have a favorite makeup product, you go. I don't know if it's a brand she's asking for or what your favorite part of your makeup is. I don't know what she... So for eyeliner, I'm gonna be taking the Ciate London Wonderland Get Your Gel Cold Liner. And look up. Um, my favorite makeup product would have to be highlighter because that just like completes a look to me. Like, I just love highlighter. So, mom, you wanna do lashes? Okay, we're gonna do lashes. I'm gonna have to cut them up first though because these fit my eyelid. So we're just gonna, just gonna go for it. We're just gonna, I'm gonna first measure the lash on her eyelids and uh, see how much I have to cut off. Okay, I'm gonna go trim her lashes then I'll be right back. And I'm gonna also apply them because you don't need to see that apply on camera. So give us a few seconds and she'll have some Bomb lashes, give me a second. Kind of make the lash band sit better. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this pretty vulgar, pretty vulgar gel eyeliner um, and a liner brush to kind of help mesh the lash band together better. 
Now you see how this one kind of uh, just looks a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side and then I'm also gonna apply mascara. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Double Decker Butter London uh, mascara on the upper lashes and the lower lashes. Now we're gonna move on to lips and for lips, I'm just gonna be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Ashton and the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick Laura liquid lipstick in the shade Family Jewels. So first I'm gonna take the shade Family Jewels because it's easier to line with. So here is the final look. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see the rest of her hair because I curled it for her. Ooh, too low. <laughs> So that's the hair. Focus it. So now I'm gonna just reveal the look to her. Um, hold on, don't look yet. I'll tell you when. Okay, ready? Whenever you go. Hot mama. You like your hair? I kind of messed up a little, but I like your hair like that. Now, it would not be finished if she didn't do what I do. So first of all, show them your highlight. Turn to the other way. Slowly. Bam. Okay, so, Mama, what setting spray are you going to use? All night. Show the people. Braxton's all night. Ready? And here... No one does it better than Braxton. Here goes the montage. Oh, wait, no, no. You're not looking. No, you're not looking down. You gotta look at the camera and do it. But like, close your eyes. Okay, do it. Down. You're not doing it right. Down, oh, mother. They got no. Ah, oh, mom is setting spray. Closer, like that. But look at the camera. I'm looking. Okay. But your eyes gotta get closed. Yeah, and you gotta do it. Okay, you're spraying too much. <laughs> that costs too much money to be spraying all that. A, a center for 24 hours. <laughs> okay, I need to take this from you. That's that's that. <laughs> okay, I don't do the Braxton too good. And this is the finished look. I think she's high off of setting spray. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this is my mother. I know you've met her. But yeah, so this is the woman I came out of. You can thank me later. Uh, I mean, you can thank her later. I didn't give birth to myself. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.